Hi Taurus, today is Tuesday, October 18th, and it is 3.30 a.m. in the morning here in Texas. Let's see what messages spirits have for you today, what your tarot cards say. I've already got the cards shuffled and ready to go, but I'm just going to shuffle here a couple more times. All right, Taurus, let's see what's in your energy today. You have the Ace of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. Libra energy with justice. The star, the center card of your reading is the Emperor. This is Aries energy. The sun, Leo energy. The king of pentacles. The four of cups. And the knight of pentacles. All right, so let's see what your cards are telling us why is the ace of wands here king of wands death scorpio energy and the queen of cups There's someone that you love, Taurus, that's coming towards you. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the, la the rest. But there's someone who's very, very passionate about you. Uh, this is a worker, a hard worker. This is someone that I'm seeing here. I feel like you have love for this person, but there's been an ending here. But I feel like this connection is going to be risen from the dead already. Just looking at the first three cards. Why is the five of pentacles here? The three of pentacles. The high priestess, Pisces energy. And the seven of pentacles. I feel like um, this person you're not talking to at the moment with the five of pentacles here, there's someone that you're not talking to. Um, this person's working a lot. They're trying to get you off of their mind, but it's not working. They're keeping silent, but they're... You know, they keep looking back at everything they had with you, everything they built with you, and they miss this. They're feeling left out in the cold here by you. You could have blocked communication with this person. Why is justice here? Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. This is someone really, really thinking about you a lot here, Taurus. They're really, really wanting to come in here 
and apologize to you. They want to make something right. There's something here that was unbalanced that this person feels like, how could they have let you get away? Why is the star here, spirits? We have the Fool, Aries Energy, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. They keep looking back over their shoulder. They're, they keep thinking about you and they're trying to run away from you, but they keep looking back. This person's, um, very much up in their head about taking a leap of faith and contacting you, talking to you, coming out of the cold. I feel like this is someone that um, is, feels like you are this nine of pentacles energy, Taurus. So there's there's someone here that feels stuck and they're having a hard time approaching you, whoever this person is. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here? Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is... Okay, so this person has been doing some work on themselves. The cycle has completely ended here with the world, but this, this connection is going to come back around again. Well, whether you get on this or not, I don't know, but it's coming back around again. We have the Nine of Swords. This could have been a marriage. We have the Emperor and the Empress, and you're both thinking about each other. The Two of Pentacles is here. I'm seeing communication coming in strongly here between this Emperor and this Empress. You both just um, miss each other. Both of you miss each other. Everything just doesn't seem right when you're apart. <coughs> <coughs> Why is this two of pentacles here? Communication. This person's trying to decide how to talk to you, how to communicate with you. There could be a baby here that is significant with the sun and the empress here, or someone is pregnant. Why is the sun here? Okay, so we have the hermit. Virgo energy, the Queen of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Okay, so this person, um, they are fighting an inner battle here about coming out of this hermit energy. This is someone that is in hermit mode. And they're trying to think logically about approaching you. But it's like you're both facing each other here. You both show up together here in the center of the reading with communication and something coming to light here. Why is the King of Pentacles here? 
the Three of Cups. If you're not looking to reconcile with somebody, this reading isn't for you because this this is a reconciliation here of two people coming together. This could be a marriage. Yeah, look at this. The Ten of Pentacles now. There was a very painful ending that took place because there's so much love between the two of you. And I'm seeing that there will be a reconciliation with this connection. Ten of Pentacles. This could be a blended family. There could be children here. Why is the Four of Cups here? This person feels like they missed an opportunity here. This could be a Pisces. And they're looking at things differently now. They're not looking at things in the same way as they were before. And they're... <coughs> feeling like this, like the wounded warrior here, and up in their emotions about you, feeling sadness, missing you. This person misses you terribly, Taurus. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Hierophant. Seven of Cups and Judgment. There could be a divorce here for someone, but I'm seeing here that, you, that you'll be receiving text messages or messages from someone because there's no other option. They just, out of all the options, they just want to raise this connection with you from the dead. They, they can't even look at anyone else. This person's coming in in a right and correct way here. What is this person's true intentions with Taurus? I feel like there's there's other people involved in this connection other than the two of you that could be in the middle of this causing conflict. Um, but this person wants to come in and fight for this connection here with you, Taurus. This is someone who doesn't want to give up. Let me just see one more thing here. Why is the King of Swords here? This could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini for some of you. Yeah. This person wants to offer you this, this cup of love. They... They're wanting to make a move here and move back towards you again. Let me see what this person wants to say to you, Taurus. Spirits, what does this person wish to say to Taurus? I have, I regret lying to you. What does this person wish to say to Taurus? 
I wish you would come back. And I don't trust you. There could be a trust issue here. Finding out the truth crushed me. And it's time for me to heal now. On the bottom of the deck you have, I feel you even though we are apart. And let me get your Moonology cards for you, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know of spirits? A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. And one more, meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. And then we have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. All right, Taurus, so these are the messages spirits have for you today. I hope they help you to see the bigger picture of what's going on in the energy around you. Um... Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and all of your support. And I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.